welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about changing your perspective on life. The truth is there are many things in life that cause negative feelings. The way we perceive life creates our emotions and feelings, therefore dictating what we attract in our lives and who we attract in our lives. So how do we turn negative feelings into empowering feelings and beliefs? Well, we change our perspective on any situation that's negative to our empowering beliefs that propel us forward. By changing our perspective on our view on life, we can shift our entire experience of the world. For example, instead of thinking, why is this happening to me when something negative happens, we can change our perspective to what is this teaching me? By simply changing the lens we see the world, we transform our inner world, therefore our outer world. As Dr. Wayne Dyer says, when we change the way we look at things, the things we look at change. Next up on the show, we have Dr. Petty Mirdamadi, who is a naturopathic doctor and holistic nutritionist. Specializing in functional medicine, Dr. Petty will be sharing how we can support our immune system during this epidemic. Dr. Petty, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. So, of course, with COVID-19, everyone is worried about contracting the disease. So let's talk about raising your immunity, supporting your immune system. Uh, what can people do right now to boost their immune system? So there's a lot we could do to take a food first approach to support the immune system. As a naturopathic doctor, I use food really heavily with my patients. And so, you know, nutrition is a foundational part in our immune support protocol. And so, you know, by taking the right foods and avoiding the wrong foods, we can do a lot to support our food. But of course, there's other things we could do as well. Taking supplements to support our immune system, making sure we're getting adequate sleep, restorative exercises, and making sure we're hydrated. All of these things play an integral role in how our immune system functions. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking on that, talking about um, vitamins, supplements, what are some supplements out there that people can take right now that would help their immunity? As I said, I like to lean heavily first on foods because I feel like we can get a lot of our nutrients through food. But of course, there's a time and a place for supplements. And there are some basic supplements that I think are critical for immune support. Um, first, we have vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D plays an integral role in our immune function. The research has shown that vitamin D deficiency is associated with impaired immune function. And so making sure our vitamin D levels are dialed into the right range is extremely important to support our immune system. And so as far as vitamin D is concerned, you wanna get your doctor to measure your vitamin D level, to know where you are, so you could dial it into the right range with the right doses. Additionally, vitamin A is another integral um, vitamin for the immune system. And, and vitamin A deficiency has been shown to be associated with impaired antibody response to infections. So that's another supplement we wanna be mindful of. Zinc is another nutrient that plays an incredibly important role in immune function. So that's another supplement to be mindful of. Zinc actually has antiviral properties, which are great for the immune system. And then there's the other vitamins like vitamin C, which we all know of. And you can get vitamin C through a lot of foods, fruits, vegetables, but that's another vitamin that, you know, we can take into consideration if we're looking for supplements to support our immune system. Because our immune system is broken down into the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. And vitamin C works on optimizing both of those divisions of our immune system. In addition to vitamins, there's herbs that we can use, lots of great herbs that support immune function. For example, astragalus is a herb that's been around for thousands of years, it plays a great role in immune modulating, which means it modulates the immune system. Additionally, there's things like andrographis, which has very strong antiviral properties, and mushrooms. Mushrooms like reishi have been used for thousands of years because of their role in supporting our immune system. So there's a plethora 
of um, supplements to choose from. It's just a matter of personalizing a plan that's right for you. And the best way to do that is to work with your doctor to closely tailor a plan that meets your needs and your requirements. Mm -hmm. I think that's great advice. And you're very knowledgeable. I'm very curious. Talk to us about when you realized that being a doctor or a naturopath doctor was your passion. How did you get into this? And yeah, talk to us about a little bit about your journey. Sure, sure. Well, I, I knew I always had a passion for helping people and starting in my early 20s when I was a personal trainer. When I was a personal trainer, I was helping people with fitness and it was really gratifying for me being able to help others reach their fitness needs. As I wanted to help more, I realized that there's things that I could not do that led me to getting a degree in nutrition because I wanted to learn how to use food as medicine. So I became a holistic nutritionist, really learned the power of food, which is something I want to touch on in further detail because I feel like food is everything for us. And so after I went to nutrition school, I became a nutritionist. So I was doing nutrition and personal training and people were coming to me with medical concerns, things that I could not really address. And so I wanted to obviously help, but I was not qualified, nor did I possess the skill set to help those that were seeking my help. So I went back to school, went to four years of medical school and became an naturopathic doctor. And here I am. Wow, amazing. Well, congratulations. You're definitely very knowledgeable. Let's talk about food. As you mentioned, you know, of course, to be healthy, you need to be eating the right foods. But of course, you know, also keeping your immunity strong, especially during this time. So let's talk about which foods support the immune system and boost it. Absolutely. This is a very important topic and one that I don't think is getting enough attention nowadays. I think to simplify it, Dariel, the most important thing to do is to take a whole food approach. We really want to focus on eating foods that are made by nature and God and not foods that are made by man. So you don't want to be eating things that are in boxes and have huge ingredient lists. You want to be eating things that nature made, things that don't have ingredient lists. So this is a very simplified approach to, you know, healthy decision making when it comes to what food to eat. First and foremost, I want to also um, emphasize that we have what's called a gut microbiome. So our digestive system, which is comprised of our intestine, small intestine, large intestine, or colon, whatnot, is comprised of a population of bacteria, billions of bacteria that live inside of our gut. And this bacteria is directly related to the health of our immune system. So in a way, we have more bacterial DNA inside us than we have human DNA in our body. So we need to kind of be mindful of that. And the food that we put into our body has a direct effect on that microbiome. Every meal that we have is either shifting our microbiome to a state of balance or shifting it to a state of imbalance, what we call dysbiosis. So it's really important to keep that in mind to treat our inner gut like a garden. And so the best way to, you know, nourish a healthy microbiome in our gut, which is directly related to our immune system, is to eat lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. And the goal here is diversity. So you want to make sure we're getting adequate fiber because what happens is that the gut microbiome interacts with fiber and they produce things called short chain fatty acids, which are incredibly important for immune function. And so first thing we want to do is making sure we're getting enough fiber in our diet. And the best way to do that is through fruits and vegetables. And then the second thing is we want to lean on the power of plants, plant food and fruits. And because what we know is that each plant, the bright colors that they have are all significant of phytochemicals, which are natural compounds that the plants have, which have tons of incredible benefits. So what I always preach when it comes to this topic is aim to eat the rainbow. You want to make sure you're getting reds, yellows, orange, blue, purple, green, all of these things in your diet, because each color is indicative of a phytonutrient, which has an important role in our immune system. The yellows and the oranges have carotenes, which are incredibly powerful antioxidants. The reds have lycopenes and vitamin C, which are important for immune system and antioxidant defense. The greens have folate, as well as iron and magnesium, all these other things which are incredibly important for health. So when it comes to nutrition, it's really important to eat lots of plant food, 
diversity, and at the same time, we want to avoid the man-made processed sugary food because what they do is they actually suppress our immune system and promote an inflammatory state, which is the opposite of the environment we want to create if we want to support our immune system. I think that's great advice and I'm glad you touched base on eating fruits and vegetables because I feel like everyone naturally right now is gravitating to eating junk food. Of course, they're at home, they want a snack and of course, junk food is going to make them feel bad. Well, I mean, it's okay in moderation, but I think that's great advice. Eating fruits and vegetables makes you feel good and of course, boosts your immunity. Let's talk about, I know with the holistic approach, it's always mind and body. Let's talk about what people can do at home to just make them feel better. I would like to take that a step further. I believe it's more mind and body. It's the things that we do on a day-to-day -day basis, like our sleep, like our stress, how we manage our stress. And most importantly, an area that the research is showing is powerful is our connection. So isolation leads to an immune deprived, you know, an immunosuppression. So we want to make sure we're connected with our loved ones. We want to make sure we're out in nature because all of these things also influence our immune system. But like you said, to take a holistic approach, we need to address factors like sleep because sleep deprivation is going to compromise our immune system. So we want to make sure we're sleeping well. And nowadays I feel like with all of the you know, energy and media, all of that going on. A lot of people are attached to their tablets, their phones, their TV. And what they don't realize is that the blue light from these devices, what it does is it increases your cortisol. And if you're watching TV on your computer or on your phone before bed, you're increasing your cortisol before bed, which is preventing you from entering the deep stages of sleep, which are really healing for the body. That's why I advise everyone to make sure one hour before bed, they don't use any technology. Go low tech, read a book, read something paper. Don't look at a screen the one hour before bed because this is gonna have such a profound effect on your long-term sleep quality, which is integral if we wanna support our immune system. Another thing is stress, Ariel. We want to be mindful of stress. You know, it's stress is irrelevant. We're all going to encounter stress. There's no denying that. But we just need to be mindful that stress increases our cortisol as well, and that is going to suppress our immune system as well. So just being mindful of these factors really allows us to take a holistic approach and just you know address different factors to really support our body you know it's like it's like a tree if we have a tree that has bad fruit on it are we going to go in there and chop the branch no we're going to look at the soil and see what's being put in the soil is it getting the nutrients is it getting the water so by looking at the roots we're able to really figure out what's going on to the branches and to the fruit of the tree. And this is a similar thing as taking a holistic approach by addressing not only nutrition and exercise, but sleep, stress, connection, all of these things really help, you know, bring things together. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I definitely need to be getting enough more sleep because I guess with every with everything that's going on in the world, everyone's sleep patterns are a little bit messed up right now. Not everyone has, you know, a nine to five right now, but I think that's definitely great advice. You know, with COVID-19, People are obviously looking to traditional medicine and you're, you, I know you have a holistic approach as a naturopath doctor. So in your opinion, what do you think is more effective? It's a great question. And I don't think it's a matter of which is more effective. I think it's more of a matter of when do you use what? So if I'm crossing the street and I get hit by a bus, I want to be taken to a Western allopathic hospital. They have the highest technology, best tests, and that's where I want to be. That's not the time for me to take, you know, turmeric for inflammation, you know, take me to the allopathic world. Let's lean on Western medicine where it shines. But when it comes to managing chronic disease, that's where I feel like, you know, the global healing traditions, the Eastern modalities that have been around for thousands of years, nutrition, the naturopathic principles, of lifestyle principles, all of those things, these holistic factors combined with the Western allopathic model, that's when really we can shine because we all have our strengths. We all have a unique perspective and a toolkit that we bring to the table. And when we work together, we can really provide the best care. And that's why I love the practice that I'm at. 
I work with medical doctors, cardiologists, acupuncturists, psychologists, and doctor of osteopaths, and I'm a naturopathic doctor myself, specializing in functional medicine. So we all come together and take a team care integrative approach because I feel like when the both worlds combine, that's when true healing and magic can happen. I think that's, that's great advice and a great approach. Dr. Petty, where can people connect with you on social media? Well, thank you for asking that. Um, my social media, I try to be active as much as I can on Instagram. So you can look me up at Dr. Petty Natural Health. I also just recently started a YouTube, Dr. Petty Natural Health, where I made a couple of videos that outline this gut microbiome in detail, if that's something that you're interested in. But yeah, if you look up my website, www.drpettynaturalhealth, that's all up there as well. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for being on the show today and keep up the great work. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.